given me just the most epic opportunity that's lined up with Neve Tides. Like honestly, you couldn't find just the more perfect window to come out here. So I'm in the 10 um, and to me, there's nothing more challenging than chasing big finger mark. Big island finger mark are as good as it gets. So you have a look around, I'm in amongst all the islands here and I'm just in the middle of nowhere. But I have something that is a huge, huge advantage to me. And um, first thing this morning, I've kind of shot out here. I'm just gonna spend the time scanning around and finding out what's going on. And I wanna try and look for areas that basically I've never been able to find before and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. So if you have a look here, um, this is a Hummingbird Solix 12 and I'm actually, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna shoot it out even more. So I'm side scanning, like your normal side scan, but I'm side scanning a hundred meters. So if you look here, I'm a hundred meters each side of my boat. I'm in 45 meters of water and I'm running at 455. Now, that's, that blows my mind. So you have a look here, I've got rocks that I've driven over, like I'm just scanning in the absolute middle of nowhere. And if you look carefully here, I've just driven over a couple of fish. They'll come up a bit darker. So 60 meters on my left hand side, I've got a really nice rock bar. That actually looks like fish as well sitting there. So. It's not going to come up as a big image, it's literally going to come up as the tiniest little little grain of rice. Like it just be a, a slight contrast difference. So this morning I'm spending the time. This is it, I'm by myself. You know, no one's going to get bored of just me cruising around doing my thing. So I'm just going to do my thing. I spend the time, I'm going to look around, I'm going to find some rocks. And um, kind of mark them along the way as I go and then I'll see which way I'm drifting, set up a drift line and just basically cover ground while I'm watching the sonar. But you know having this as an advantage to me over you know just sonar I could, I could miss that by 20 meters and you'd never see it. Now I've got a beam shooting a hundred meters each side of me and finding things like basically first run as I'm going through them, rock there, rock there, mark it all, come back, fish it. So um, look I'm gonna go to work here and um, I hope, like finger mark and me with this, that like, that's it. That's the challenge. So you can see I've just kind of done my first pass through and I've hit my waypoints there. You see how fresh they are. It's like number four, five, six. <laughs> it's not like the contender where it's 1800. <laughs> There's, so far I've got 15 marks in here which I've just basically started pinning a big ridge line that I've hit. Um, I'll go through now, set up my first drift and see what happens. But um, look, I'm in the absolute middle of nowhere and I'm, and I'm driving over like meter, meter sized rocks and shelves and looks very, very good. Look, before I even drop, I just want to show you something.
Oh my god. Where did you come from? Oh. Come on, get up. Oh my god, this could be it. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on. I need this in the tin. The tin. You go. Oh, this is big. I can't believe that worked. Oh, come on. I just walked the dog up on the paws. Oh, well. Come on. I need this. My soul needs this. Oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. Oh, my. Get in my tin. No. No. No net in the tin. Oh, this thing's huge. Get in. Oh my god. Oh my. This is it for me, guys. This is, to me, the hardest fish you can target. Giant, big island finger mark. That thing is an absolute giant as well. The whole idea behind getting the tinny was being able to pick days like this and come out here and explore and find waters, and give myself the challenge of finding these fish. This is it. This is it's all I want. It's giant big island finger mark. Scanning around using side scan to its advantage and just like fishing in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> if you look carefully, right in the center there, you'll see the actual shadows of those finger mark. I might even be able to zoom in again. That's them there. That's, that blows my mind. Hey, that's, oh, pulling them on them now. Oh, no way. No way. Look at the sounder. What? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at that. Is a pretty surreal feeling. 
That's two and two drops, like, what's going on? And the size of them. You know, it's a funny one where you see these fish and you see me put a, a trophy fish like this on the deck and it's kind of like normal, but it's honestly not. This, this doesn't happen. You know, like to, to get fish of this calibre, find them out here doing the thing. Um, you know, it's, you don't see the behind scenes where it's taken me days and days and hours and hours of searching and then you get the right tools for the job. It's like anything. And you just put in the hard work because you know it's going to pay off eventually. I'm in kind of two minds now. Like I've found the most incredible school I've ever found, at, like ever. And um, I, I want to leave them alone. Like <laughs> I'll just have a bit of a scan around and think about what I'm actually going to do now because this is, you know, like I've been a bit undecisive whether or not to drop back down because you know I respect these fish so much. Two is a lot. Like two is heaps and been scanning scanning and I think fate's just basically told me what uh, I'm gonna be doing so I know exactly what that is and um, it's not three sharks it's one shark and he's basically just sitting underneath my boat in my transducer beam he knows exactly what's going on and he'll know those fish are there so he's just gonna hang around me I guarantee like those fish fight so hard no way I'll be able to pull them away from him so that's it happy days for Matt it's uh even like a soup it's an even more rewarding feeling knowing that I've left them knowing that I haven't wasted any of them um, and I've got it in my head now so it's like I know that I know the moon the tides the current basically what time of the tide too um, now I'm gonna try and repeat that process again and you know if you can do it twice it's looking pretty good if you can do it three times you've come up with a full-on theory and you've kind of nailed them so yeah, every now and again you can get lucky and you can do something once but then you do it twice and you do it three times you've nailed it so in my head I've basically got it all dialed in now I know what's happening I've just got to try and repeat it and see if I can do it again that is a beautiful sight especially um, the only reason they're doing that is because they know I've left my fly rod at home. But that's okay. I'm going to, um, I know I'm obviously going to catch one of these tuna, like there's a lot of them, but I'm going to just prioritise for a second here. The idea of having such perfect water quality and a perfect tide, I'm going to see if I can convert something else first. So. Don't know what's gonna happen, but I feel like if I catch one of those tuna, I'm gonna kind of put off what else might be under there. I'll try for them first, and then we'll downgrade a little bit. Just good on you. Good on you, Cherney. Oh! <laughs> That's a better fish, too.
coming towards me? Pull me into the rock. Holy smokes! Is he getting chased? Whoa! There's a bit going on there. Oh, the sander looked very good as well back there. Big journey. Hey, big fella. Stop, 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 ah, ah, ah. stop doing that. That's enough. Woo! Big longy. Real good longy. Well, the tide started pushing really hard out there, and basically there was just bulk schools of long tails. And I thought I'd leave them alone. I've come into the river just to check out some of the locals and have a scan through and there's a lot of barra getting around, a couple of big crocs so I think over the next few days I'll focus on uh, getting back into the river and trying to chase a couple but yeah there's nothing better than seeing a couple of big crocs hey they're like super intimidating but just amazing placid animals so um, I do have a pretty special date tonight so I don't want to leave him hanging so I'm going to call it early today and um Proxy bird. Well, he was going hectic, so I had to give him a little bit straight away, but this is my date for the night. It's just me and Parky. Jess has actually gone down the Gold Coast for a hen's party, so she's taken Avery and she's actually visiting my family as well. And uh, Parky was actually at Jess's mum's place last night, which gave me that perfect little opportunity to go sneak out there and sand around and try and find those fish. And I think the biggest, biggest importance, what I found today was timing of tides water quality, uh, moon phase, it all kind of came into that little factor and had that half an hour bite, got those two fish and measured them when I got home, 85 and 86 centimetres, proper, proper trophy animals. Um, do you want more? Parky's definitely not complaining either, he's absolutely smashing it while I'm um, trying to cook some for myself, but it just shows I had a look in the boat today and I've done 60 hours in the tinny with one video, which just shows how much time I've been spending looking around and doing my thing and, you know, having an opportunity to get out there and side scan 100 meters. I really want to try and find wonky holes. I want to try and find little isolated rocks in the absolute middle of nowhere. So I'm going to go out there and just do my thing consistently and hopefully try and film along the way. Definitely if I find stuff, I'll be filming, but Mornings like this morning where I can shoot out there quickly, scan around, scan around, come back, log it all, and um, if I get to catch something and come home and... What do you reckon? Hey? When was the last time you were on my YouTube channel? It was a little while ago, hey?
He's like a little grown up boy now. Look at those mitts. Perfect little day in my opinion. I'm just gonna tuck into some fish tacos now. He's having like deconstructed tacos because there's no way he's handling a wrap like. Jeez, just about eat your fingers, hey. Savage. Anyway, hope you enjoy the clip and um, I was gonna head out tomorrow morning with him and do my first ever kind of fishing trip with Parky, but I'm just not too sure on the weather. So I'll wait a couple more days and wait for Jess to come back because then she can pack his lunch and do all the bits and pieces. I'll just give him like steak or some kind of dad meal, you know? Um, what do you reckon? You're still hungry? Surely not. But, Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you soon.